If you don't already know what Hytale is, it is a game with potentially unlimited content and creativity, and I think it's going to be the most hyped game coming out in 2021. The company Hypixel, which has many investors such as Riot Games, has put an unbelievable amount of effort into it and releasing content almost every single month, varying from a tangible gameplay to many epic art styles and features to some more in-depth looks in the mechanics and how things work in the uh, universe of Hytale. And this blog post is kind of exactly what that is, a closer look at the landscape generation system in Hytale. And welcome, my name is The Rising Sun and I hope you guys sit down and stick around and let's get to it. I also quickly wanted to mention that a big percentage of you guys who are watching my videos are not subscribed, so definitely leave that subscribe button. We talk about a lot of games that are in development as well as more regular updates of Hytale. So if you like that, definitely hit that button. We'd definitely appreciate it. And let's begin. Now, Hypixel Studios has already touched on on how the world generation system works, but in this blog post, they, just, they decide to go a little bit deeper into detail with it and hopefully to give you guys a better understanding and to appreciate the world of Hytale and how it works. Now, the world generation system is a very powerful system that draws from a very different variety of rules and is the backbone of the Hytale universe. As you can see in this concept piece, the world is very different and the system draws from a vast variety variety of different rules and techniques in order to make one different zone very much different from the other one. This system is a combination of completely random rules and developer made points of interest and it's really exciting because these rules are more like guidelines when creating the universe of Hytale and you can see that the randomness of this world generation system will allow the world of Hytale to have these really interesting awesome areas that even the developers weren't even expecting to happen. What's more is that the Hypixel Studios uh, team is deciding to give modders the complete full control of being able to change the way this system works in order to create your own universes. And in this news update, Hypixel will be demonstrating how Hytale modders will be able to customize the world generation system and uh, use it to create their own content. One of these such tools uh, for the creation of modders and the creation of Hytale itself is through noise maps and uh, height map interpretation. And uh, what these noise maps are is that they take uh, a bunch of random numbers or inputted numbers as well as a bunch of uh, new rules and uh, aspects that they'll take from a few systems and they'll generate it into what is called a noise map and it'll turn it into a little image for you to you know visualize and preview what the results will be to put it into simple terms think of noise maps as like the x-axis of a graph and height map would be like the y-axis of a graph map it's very simple like that so the noise map would be uh what certain certain points of interest would be kind of kind of how the formations of the land would be you see in this image you'll see uh, that we have zone 2 being simulated which is the high plateaus in the desert area and uh, the y-axis the height maps uh, will be taking a random number or an inputted number in order to tell the formations and how dramatic they want those points of interest to be such as you would you want like a, a winding river or do you want like this huge canyon drop off ravine with water in the middle it's uh it's a system where it takes two factors again noise maps and height maps and combines them together to create something uh, completely new. Here in this clip, you can kind of see an example of what the noise maps are looking like. Now, these are multiple noise maps layered one after the other. You can kind of see just how dramatic the land of zone two is getting increased as some of the numbers are being changed around and regenerated. Not to mention the kind of freedom of control that you have around the creativity of making these maps, but it's not little, it's not really too much to see, but it's a cool small example to check out. So you saw the creation of the land with uh, the noise map of how the terrain will be raised to a certain height or if there's going to be a river but that's only just one type of noise map there's multiple types of layers of noise maps when creating the world of Hytale and in this next noise map we'll be talking about um, noise maps that deal with both the depth of certain kinds of blocks in the train and as well as the kind of blocks that will appear on the surface so this noise map is in charge of placing the ore in around the map underground and as well putting different types of blocks such as like sand where the sand will go or the where the grass goes where the different types of dirt goes and that just adds more to the complexity to the world so you get the first a noise map which is the the terrain and the height of the terrain and then you'll have the different kinds of blocks that are mixed in with it as well so we're up to two different types of noise maps uh, the next one we'll be talking about the covers which is all the prefabs and all the vegetation and all the trees this noise map goes and decides what kind of terrain it's looking at and what kind of blocks are there and it'll decide what kind of trees and will belong to a given area so, you know, we're talking about 
mushrooms, crystal outcrops, and really, really uh, handcrafted points of interest. The prefab system is also in charge of larger structures and points of interest. And as you can see in the world of Hytale, there are thousands upon thousands of pre-made structures created by the dev team. And the fourth noise map is in charge of that as well. As you can see in this image, you'll see that the purple dots are areas where generated large structures can be placed. This is an example of a Voronoi noise, which creates cell-like patterns for Hytale. And as you can see, these dots roughly translates to about 20% of the generated space. And depending on if Hytale thinks it's too dense or not enough structures, they can change these numbers at will. So as you can see, we have a lot of systems that take place in order to make the world of Hytale. We have four really complicated systems. We have the terrain. We have the specific blocks that go in it. We have the decorations, the covers, the trees, and a Voronoi noise map, which creates a map for massive structures to generate on. So very complicated. So a total of four systems. Not only is this system really awesome to hear about, but the technical artists of there over at Hytale are constantly blown away by how cool the system is and just how much control and uh, creativity that the, the tool gives the team. They've noted many times where uh, they'll see something really cool that kind of blows their mind and they haven't even known, they didn't even know that that was a thing. What's interesting in this blog post is that what they didn't cover is uh, cave systems and how those noise maps and all of those layers of noise maps come together in order to make the cave system. And and they said that they're going to be making a, another blog post uh, touching on that subject in the future and that it is more complicated and it was kind of hard to put inside just a single post for the month. And it's going to be awesome to hear about it. I can't wait to uh, learn what's going on with that. And last but not least, I wanted to show you guys this little image that they provided uh, showing all of the tools put together. They used it to create their own little space and it will be accessible to all the modders. And this is just a little bit of an example of just how fun the tool is. And I I know there's not a lot of information and it's not really um, a crazy content packed blog but uh, all the same thank you guys for sitting with me it was really fun getting to read all this blog post and showing it to all of you guys and uh, thank you for guys for sitting down and sticking around and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye